Hi everyone, it's your Rabbi David here in Shul. Um, hope you're well uh, after Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. It was great to see you in Shul and, and on Zoom. I think we did some really great stuff over Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. And now it's Sukkot. Uh, it's raining outside and it doesn't look brilliant uh, forecast for the first day, but I think we'll have some, uh, hopefully, weather that we can sit in Sukkah over the festival. Um, so one of the main mitzvot, one of the commandments that we have over Sukkot is the four kinds, the Arba'a, which is four minim species of kind. And they are, of course, the Lulav. Here's my one, the Lulav here. Uh, we have the Hadas, or the Myrtle. The custom is to have three branches of the Myrtle, two branches of the Willow. Here we are. And, of course, as I quickly get out of my box, the Etrog. That citrus fruit, the Etrog, which is right here. I'm really happy with my Etrog this year. Um, and um, those are the four kinds which we're told to take together on Yom Tov. Now, we don't do it on Shabbat, uh, and there is an old custom not to do it on Shabbat in case people would carry it to the synagogue, uh, um, which, of course, uh, in places without an Eruv, we're not like, meant to carry on Shabbat. And so there's a very old custom, law, not to take uh, on Shabbat the Arba Minim, just like we don't blow the Shofar also on the, f f uh, the first day of Rosh Hashanah, when it's Shabbat. So from Sunday through to Friday, <coughs> there will be a fulfillment of a commandment to take the Arba Minim. Now, what about putting them together? So firstly, you take your lulav. Here it is. You find the spine, the hard spine of the lulav, and that should face you. So I'm doing that now. That will face you. So I'm now looking at my lulav. And what I then do is on the right-hand side, I take the three... Hadas, and I put them in the port that's there in the binder, the holder for the lulav. So my lulav is in the binder. I put it through the hole there. And now I take my three. Uh, um, have I got the three here? Yep. My three hadas. And I carefully put them in. Here we are. They're in now. I then take the two willow branches and put them in the other side. And that is my three of my four kinds. Now look, that firstly, on the right is the Hadas, and secondly, so it probably looks the other way for you, or maybe not, and secondly, the Hadas are higher, because there are more of them, are meant to be higher, I'm trying to get them through here, than the uh, uh, Arava, and there they are. My Hadas are just a little bit higher than the Arava. So I've got those three kinds now, and then I've got my etrog. I'm ready to do the mitzvah of the Arba Aminim on Sukkot. You can get up in the morning and do it. Some people, if they have a sukkah, go to their sukkah to do it. Uh, um, and there are two blessings to say firstly. So the way you do uh, uh, the Arba Aminim is firstly, I'll tell you which page to go to here. If you've got the Chief Rabbi Siddur, this one here, the green one, it's 616, that's the page. Now, the way to take these together is to hold the lulav upright and the etrog in your right, your right hand, actually the left hand, I'm sorry, got that wrong. So the lulav in the right hand and the etrog in the left hand. Now, the way to hold the etrog is with this pitom. If you look there at the top, that little thing at the top there is called the pitom. If that comes off the etrog, you actually technically can't use it on the festival. The pitom to do the mitzvah should be up. But rabbis got busy and said, well, hold on. If you hold it together with the pitom up, you've done the mitzvah. What about the blessing? So the way we do it, listen to this, guys, is we hold the pitom down. Hold the etrog together with your lulav, with the arava and the hadas, the myrtle, or the willow and the myrtle. And then you say the two blessings. Baruch atah Hashem elokeinu melech haolam, asher kichanu v'istav v'tivanu al natilat lulav. And then... You say the blessing, Shechianu v'kiyamanu v'gianu l'azmanazeh. Anytime you do a mitzvah, on the first time you do a mitzvah, and only the first time, you say the bracha Shechianu. The next time as you do it through the week, you won't need to say it. And then what you do is you take, turn the etrog the right way up, and then you shake firstly in front of you. So give it a shake in the front, and then clockwise shake to each of the directions. So to your right, to behind, to left, and then up, and then down. That's how to put together your Arba Minim. That's how to organize them before the blessing. 
say the blessings, and then do the mitzvah. The real mitzvah is, to be honest, to hold them together. But we add this custom of shaking it to all the directions and up and down, because in essence, and it's weird to say it today, the Arba Minim is almost a prayer for water, a prayer for rain. Don't really think about in this country, because we've got plenty of rain today. My garden's doing very well from the rain. But maybe in Israel and other parts of the world that need rain, this is a prayer that we will have enough rain and appropriate rain uh, over the next year. Because Sukkot, we're told, is the day of judgment uh, um, for rain. So that's it. Have a great Sukkot. Uh, lovely to be back in touch. And warm regards to all of you. Chag Sameach.